So one of the next projects up is my next Bioshock bottle. So I'm going to do the uh, the cap for sure. I've got a seam and lots of lots of issues. And we have some stepping on the top of this bottle. And it lo it looks okay, but there's a lot of layer lines there. And we'll see them more, so I'll paint it and sand it, and then we'll take a look at it, and we can see what's happening. Okay, so I have my Bioshock bottle sanded, and you can see all the layer lines. Look at that in the light. See how many it had. Of course, white PLA, it's hidden, right? But we got it sanded, so I'm going to go give this some filler primer, wipe it off with a paper towel first, and we'll come look and see how it looks. So I've got my Bioshock bottle back and i missed it on top in a couple of spots getting filler paint on it but that's okay so i'm going to do this another round i'm not going to kill myself on this i'm probably going to keep it so so definitely some areas that need a little bit of work so i'll paint that and sand it the other thing i occurred to me i wiped the cork off i got took the paint off because i think this might actually be cork so it's supposed to be rough like that. I thought that was just a bad print job. So I'm gonna leave this alone until I figure that out, but I think it is cork. So I'll paint this one and sand it, and then we'll take a look at it. So far, so I'm just gonna paint a little bit uh, on video here because somebody asked. I'm gonna try to do it with my iPad in the way, so I'm gonna get a little paint on my brush. My bottle's almost empty. So you just, uh, you just paint it on like you would any normal paint, right? This is really hard to do with my iPad in the way. Just uh, fill everything in. Just cover it. Spread it out thin, right? You don't want to waste paint. Don't make it harder to sand than you have to. And we just put it all on and then we'll just sand, sand it away. And you'll see stripes of of paint and the spray filler primer. So gray and gray or gray and blackish stripes. So it's that simple, just paint it on. Areas like this, I would get a smaller brush because I'm just gonna do this spot right here and here a little bit. So I don't wanna lose detail, right? Keep as much as possible. These, these ones, I just kind of dry brush over them just to get a little bit in the layers. So I don't wanna lose any detail. And if this was like a helmet and it was stepping, then you could go a little heavier with the paint. But that's it. You know, I could paint this bottle in, I don't know, five minutes, three minutes, four minutes, somewhere around there. I'll do a little bit more and then see if I can get that on the camera. As simple as that. My paint's drying out. The can's have been open for a long time tonight. And there's nothing left. I'm just pulling this off the sides of the jar. Simple as that. I uh, hope that helps. Okay, so I've <laughs> forgotten the radio on again. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the uh, Bioshock bottle I'm working on. And it's all sanded. I think it's good now to go for priming. I'm going to have to uh, brush it all off with paper towel, of course. And... I'm sure it'll need another round. You can see some of the stepping starting to disappear. So everything's looking good. You know, this isn't the normal thing I would I would smooth. I just, I want a set of these bottles. I'll put them up for sale in my Etsy shop. And if they sell, I'll just make myself another one. But eventually I think I'll, I'll end up with eight finished at one time. And I will just keep them uh, set for myself. So I can do a, a full helmet like Sabine Wren over there or a Mandalorian in less than an hour of my time I actually put into it. it basically, it's just sanding, right? It only takes minutes to paint and spray paint. But these bottles are almost, uh, you know, taking as much time as a helmet because of all the little... And, you know, you can make yourself some sanding tools, right? You can uh, roll up sandpaper, make little sanding sticks to get into these spots. Um, you can wrap it around a screwdriver. I actually, if I can grab this, I use some of this stuff too. Let me get the English side, grit cloth, plumber's open mesh. 
So I got the least abrasive I could, which is about 200 grit equivalent. And this stuff, you know, you can wrap it around screwdrivers, whatever. I only use it on the first round of the model though. It's too rough a grit after that. But uh, like I said, you can wrap it and do all kinds of funky things with it. I also sometimes, uh, I don't think I have one handy. I print uh, little plastic sticks on, my, on the printer and then cut little strips of sandpaper and glue them, just super glue them to those sticks. And then you have little sanding sticks. So you learn all these tricks and stuff as you start sanding models if you're into this sort of thing. So I'm gonna go prime this guy. And uh, I guess we'll take a look at it after it's primed and then either touch-ups or another full round, we'll see. Okay, so I have my Bioshock bottle back and now the primer is really showing. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work in uh, around these, uh, I don't know what they are, ram horns, I guess. So I'll, I'll put some paint in there and take my time and sand them. The rest of the bottle's looking pretty good. I'll probably do, do it over just one more time just to make it super smooth, but it, it's really nice right now. And I guess this is a kind of a green bottle. So I just want to put like the base coat on it. I don't want to risk painting anymore. I have the worst luck with paint. But I don't have any green paint, so I might have to give a can of, I don't know, if, if they make green metallic paint, that would probably look pretty nice on here. It's just these uh, these horns. And I make myself a few sanding sticks and get lots of paint in there and then try to smooth all that out. Although you, with when it's painted, that might not be that noticeable. It's hard to say. Very hard to say. Okay, so uh, where are we? Um, I'll paint it with our paint and I'll sand it and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I've sanded my Bioshock bottle and I'm pretty good with this. And I don't really have much time to do anymore anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna prime this, and of course whatever comes out comes out. I'll put it up for sale, and if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. Sell, I'll keep it. And if it sells, I'll make myself another one. But Halloween's coming up now, and the orders are starting to stack up a little bit. Helmets and uh, some Loki tiaras, Wanda tiaras, that kind of thing. So it'll be nice not to be doing these little bottles for a change into bigger pieces, but. There she is, so I will prime it, and we'll come back and take a look at it, and I'll probably end that this video there. Okay, so I have my Bioshock bottle back. My cork is painted brown. I believe most of the bottle color is green, so if I can grab some green paint, I might paint it. It does need a little bit of work around the horns, just a light sanding and smoothing, but everywhere else came out great. It's all smooth, the layer lines are gone. It's looking good so i'm going to end this video here because i have too many other things to get to halloween's coming up and uh, i will just post another video sometime if i get my green paint and just a chance to do a little quick sand and, and paint this green all right on to the next project okay so i'm i got some green paint fired it on my bioshock bottle so it's pretty smooth it's looking good nice little base coat so I'll put this up for sale, and if it doesn't sell, eventually I'll get around to finishing the paint job or something and, and keeping it. And if it sells, I'll make another one. But that's it. It's good enough for me. Layer lines are all gone.